All right. Welcome, welcome. After I was gaming, this is match nine or ten. I think it's nine. I forget. <laughs> I'll do a double check after this. Um, well, we're gonna have a uh, best of five between Google Cardboard and NetSuite. Um, for those of you watching live, um, we are gonna be playing this game here now at approximately twelve oh five. Um, but the rest of the games will be held off until 1 o'clock, so you'll have to deal with a little bit of a break in between. Um, but for those of you on YouTube, you'll get to see everything immediately to the power of time travel. Uh, so we're going to have a PvP here on Overgrowth Ladder Edition. We have Data++, Plus Plus, the Red Protoss, spawning for Google Cardboard in the top right, and Gadabits, the Blue Protoss, spawning for NetSuite here in the bottom left. Um, don't know much about Gadabits here. Um, Data++ Plus Plus is one of the better players on Google Cardboard. Um, has a decent record, uh, pretty good record on Overgrowth in particular. Uh, we have both of them going for a pretty standard pylon, so we're not gonna have any proxy gateway or cannon shooting in, it looks like. Um, we still could I, potentially have some cannon shooting in, but no very aggressive cannon. And uh, it's much harder to uh, do that kind of, those kind of rush strategies um, in this game because of the Mothership Core. And it's a strict defensive power that it brings. Um, fair, alright, so we got a 12 gate, it looks like, for Gatto Bits. And uh, Data going for the uh, more economic 13 gate. Gatto running, okay, he's just checking for proxies. Just making sure he's not going to get rushed here. Data just sending the probe straight on out. Gas going down. Gato just slightly behind on the probe production. Data going up to double assimilator straight away. Um, so Gato doesn't... He's grabbing the second pylon. Um, no second assimilator yet. It looks like he's going to be able to throw down the side before straight away. And with no second assimilator, um, it looks like he may be going some gateway aggression. He has used a lot of kernel in the probes. He doesn't have a whole lot saved up uh, for that warp gate. So he will not be able to warp in at a ridiculous other time, like 5.30 or so. Um, but he could easily start warping in by 6 minutes if he dumps the chrono that he has now uh, straight into warp gate. It's a very real possibility. Uh, Data also having some chrono saved up, um, but he's gone double assimilator. Uh, three probes and two probes. It's a very practice build here. Wants to make sure he has precisely as much gas as he needs. Zealot out. Chrono going straight into warp gate here for Gatabus. We'll see how many more chronos he dumps on this. He does, in fact, actually have a probe set up here on the northern edge, so he's gonna want to throw down that proxy pylon and get aggressive. Uh, Data throwing down Chrono as well, but he has no Zealot. He's gonna go straight for a Stalker instead. Should start a Mothership you want that as early as possible so you can get the photon overcharge up against gateway aggression. Uh, second chrono dumps straight onto that warp gate research, so we're gonna see some play here from some gateway aggression here from Gatabits. He's piling up a lot of minerals. I'm gonna see him throw down three gateways, I think, any second now. All right, there's the second, there's the third, and there's the fourth gateway. So it will be a four gate. Uh, this probe's going to, this probe is extremely critical. If data kills it, the four gate is destroyed. He needs it for that proxy pylon. Um, he's not going to see it just yet. Stalker and a zealot moving out. Need a defensive stalker. He's got a second gateway up, and he's starting a third gateway. So he should have that ready to go. And there goes the proxy pylon for Gatto Bits. We'll keep the first one out at a distance. Second one will be much closer. Uh, gateways are almost done. Another chrono on the warp gate. It looks like warp gate's a little too fast. The gateways are not quite done yet. Um, so slightly mistimed. Could have saved that chrono for units. Uh, Mother of Core 90 energy. It will have a photon overcharge in time by the time the attack arrives. You need to see uh, Data get a sentry. He needs. He's going to need it to handle uh, these first four warpins. One goes down. Three more going in. Stalkers need to retreat. He's not going to get this pylon. He has to go up. There's no sentry. Stuff's going to go in here. He needs to throw down overcharge. He has the energy. He needs to throw it down. He needs the overcharge. There it goes. 
loses a Stalker, gets a Zealot for it. Should be able to start uh, those games. And he actually got a fourth gate. So it's going to be, it's four gate versus four gate here. And uh, Galahad is actually quite a bit ahead in supply. Did actually, unfortunately, has a very, a rather large supply lock. He needs to back up, doesn't want to engage the Starkers where they're not going to take fire. Um, Gatobus does have the larger army here. Poking back and forth, Gatobus does not want to run to the range of that Photon Overcharge. As Cronin goes Warp Gates, need to get some, needs to get more Warpins. He's behind an army supply, he's relying on this Stalker count, uh, but his opponent just has more units. Slightly better macro from the opponent, the opponent actually has more probes, 23 to 20. This Forgate is working out really well. He's, uh, zealots are trading for Stalker shots. More Stalkers get worked in, but at a very inopportune location. They're both going to get sniped down. It's uh, 8 Stalkers to 6. 10 Stalkers to 6. Mothership Core goes down. It's looking really bad for Data here. He's not going to have another overcharge to use. There's no advantage. There's no Robo. There's, uh, there's nothing to deal with this uh, higher Stalker count. Gato is playing a very safe attempt to start taking down these pylons. But uh, the army count is just higher. So it will go down. Stalker on the back does live. There's too many stalkers here for Gato. He's being, he's being very cautious. And uh, it's fine because one doesn't have a robo, but he's, he's up 20 supply. Just doesn't want to risk anything, so he is making sure he only gets the best pot shots out of these stalkers. King is going, loses one, might lose another if Focus Fire is good, but it doesn't matter. There's way too many stalkers here now. 11 to the 4. Fifth being worked in. Probes get pulled. But you can pull the A4 to take this trade. Yeah, that's it. GG. Alright. Now, going into game two, um, if you're on the live stream, bleh, live stream, thanks for coming back, thanks for sticking around. Um, if you're on YouTube, thanks for waiting uh, four seconds, or five seconds, whatever the delay is. I set it to like three seconds, but there's transition and downtime in between, so it's more like four or five. Anyway, we're gonna, so we're going into game two. Uh, NetSuite is up 1-0 versus uh, Google Cardboard. Uh, we're going to have a TVZ here on Secret Spring. Uh, RRG for NetSuite. The Blues are spawning in the top right. And C. Uh, Leahy, the Red Terran, spawning in the bottom left for Google Cardboard. Um, so as the Observer duly pointed out, we actually have a Silver player versus a Diamond player. Um, so while I definitely want Google Cardboard to win, um, my money would be on the Diamond player in this case. We'll see if he can break out uh, any cheese or aggressive strategy uh, to maybe catch RRG off guard here. Um, but most certainly with, uh, with silver level macro and mechanics, um, it is highly unlikely that he could ever win a, a long-term game against a Diamond Zerg opponent. So we'll pro we're probably going to see some aggression here. RG, not going an early pool, confident in his macro. Um, we'll probably see him go pool first, just to be safe, and uh, and then grab his hatch after that. Uh, Standard Rack's going down for the turn. No quick gas, so it's not going to be a Reaper opening. Um, so we may go for some, some Marines. Um, just grab the gas now. And actually, RG's going to go hatch first. He is not afraid of anything. So he's just going to go do that. Scouts around a little bit to make sure there's no SCDs hanging around there. And the pool will go down next. Um, as high as 16. So a super greedy opening here from the Zerg player on this map. Overlord scouting in. Sees the barracks. Sees the de um, depot queued up by this SCD. So that'll start next. Gas mining. Three at a time. Orbital started. Should see a marine started here. There it goes. Overlord is going to keep his distance, doesn't want to run into a marine. Spawning pull down, no gases yet for our Zerg. 
me is droning back up to 17, starting that Overlord. Uh, he'll have just enough minerals to get double queens when this one will does finish. Marine out front and Tech Lab going down. Nice and early. So he's going to start, so he's either going to get some Marauders or he's going to start an upgrade here. Um, starting an Engineering Bay, way here in the back, this Overlord is not going to see this. Um, so it looks it looks like this is going to be a one base uh, marine time. Spawning so Blitz on two queens and six zerglings instead of the usual two or four. So he's going to try to poke a little more with these. Overlord hanging in back. That'll go in for a rescout later. This Overlord is going to find out that there's no natural in a little bit. So the Zerg should know that something is up. Engineering may select if he wants to start an upgrade. I'll do that right now. Right now. Almost. Soon. Um, banking up a bunch of minerals. There he goes. So he starts plus one attack. And he's got combat shield building. Um, starting some more racks now, but these racks are delayed. Um, he's got more energy for mules. It looks like this is going to be some kind of three racks, uh, one base play. Um, should probably pull off gas. He's not going to be spending any more gas on this. But again, it's quite quite delayed. These racks could have been started earlier. Zerg has uh, gone up to 22 drones. Starting double geysers now. Got two queens out down in the bottom, a third going up here, and a fourth up. So he's got four queens. The marine production will be going forward. A heavy supply block for our Terran player here. Yeah, it's not looking good for the Terran. Six things already poking out. You should see these marines on the low ground. I uh, probably can't contest them. Yeah, six things cannot beat um, three marines without speed. More marines being produced. Combat shield is done. Plus one is on the way. He's going to start moving out. And Zerg's going to need to respond to this. Doesn't respond very quickly. Here, loses a bunch of Zerglings. Um, but now he knows what's coming. So he's going to build, yep, 12 Zerglings on the way. Speed is on the way. Third is on the way. We should see him throw down a Baneling Nest uh, relatively soon. He does have the money for it. He may just choose to rely on Queens uh, for that. More marines being produced. 400 minerals suddenly dumped. Did he start a command center? Yes, he did. All right, started a command center. So he's going to try to macro off of this. But he needs to push out with these marines. Surely he plans to do something with them. The banding nest is halfway done. So if he wants to do something with these combat shield plus one marines, uh, the window is rapidly closing. There's a bunch of zerglings out, but without speed, they can't engage these marines. And even with speed, the marine numbers are getting pretty high. Um, two of them miss micro here, so they're going to be sacrificed to the Zerg gods. Uh, more moving in. Zerglings coming in. There's not quite enough Zerglings to deal with these Marines, though. He's going to have to wait for Baneling. 16 more Zerglings on the way. Marines need to push in. They need to do this damage, but they're chasing Queens. Queens are doing their job. They're buying lots of precious time. Baneling has is done, but no Banelings have been started. Just going to be a ton of Zerglings, and I think it's actually going to be enough Zerglings. Marines moving in here, sitting on the creep. Um... Reinforcement Marines engaging the uh, Queens. Bunch of speed things run in here, and it looks to be just enough to clear out this Marine squad. More Marines moving in, but they're... Yeah, the Reinforcement Links will take care of those. More and more Links getting constructed. More Marines being rallied. He needs to pull these Marines back. He can't win anymore. He needs to stop sacrificing these Marines. Uh, pull them back and try to set up at home. But they're still rallied on out. Two by two to the slaughter. Another, another, there he goes. Rallies them back now. He needs to get them behind the wall. He needs to be able to handle these Zerglings. He needs to get this depot up. The, lings are, the Marines are caught. If he lets the Zerglings in, it's game over. All right, so he does get them up. Uh, Banelings should start soon here. Should pull back from these Marines, and he does. How many Banelings does he make? Goes for Burrow. And starts some Spore Crawlers instead. Goes for a Spire. So he may not. So it looks like he might actually not be trying to bust here. He's just going to continue to macro up out of this. 
Surprisingly, the Terran player actually isn't that far behind economically. He does have his two orbitals, and he has a large number of SCVs. Um, been only mining one refinery for this entire time. So we're going to start working on these uh, side entrance rocks for now. Rain's broken here. We're going to circle. They're going to poke forward, and against the number of Zerglings out on the map, this is a very unwise decision, I would think. Um, these Marines have stem. They do have stem, but they have no medevac support. The factory isn't even done yet. Uh, more defensive spores going up. Eleven Banelings being morphed in. Um, not that those are needed to handle these Marines. They're just going to sit here. Um, lots of Marines sitting at home. I guess in the event of Mutalist, but he's gonna challenge. Yeah, he's gonna wrap around with the Zerglings uh, to pin them in so they can't. Doesn't quite get the wrap around, but it's good enough. Clears up all those Marines. Starting an armory for those plus two upgrades. Um, still only on one refinery, <laughs> so he should probably start some more so he can start to fund medevac production as well as upgrades. Zerg poking around, he will check for the third. 1-1 one, one for him on the Y plus 1 melee. Almost done. Uh, consistent marine production here from our Tyrant player. 7 out of time. Pretty powerful. Uh, does start 3 depots just in time, so he's not going to be supply blocked very much here at all. Should start 2 of Endovacs. But he really needs to start some additional refineries so he can power these upgrades. And um, hopefully we'll see him get some Widow Mines. Actually, really even in supply here, which is surprising. Um, but it is all Marines. Nicely spread out. Some burrowed Banelings here. Sneaky, sneaky. By RRG. We'll see if he manages to capitalize on those. Reactor going down on the factory, so there are going to be some Widow Mines. It is starting a second and third geyser now, at last. So he will be able to afford upgrades as well as medevacs. Should start some more. Should start some more depots. Pushes in, and the Burrow Banlings get the first hit. And they get the second hit as well. Thinning this army out. So we are nothing. Marines and Roars are going to continue to push, but there's so many Zerglings and Banlings here back at home. Zerg is going to be fine. Yeah, the Zerglings will run in here. They've got a uh, 1-1. One, one versus the Terran players 1-1. One, one. It turns out it will be enough to clean out this army. They're going to Rainlings doing the job. Medivac comes out to the party quite late. There's nothing left to save. We will have to go home. Oh boy, this queen encourages him to go home. Uh, Mutalists are out. Three more in production. Three on the field. Uh, so not quite a lot. RG banking quite a bit of gas, not committing too much to these mutalists just yet. Does get the meta back for his troubles, though. Uh, we should see 2-2 two, two starting, and yeah, there's a plus one, plus two armor. Waiting for plus two attack. He's waiting for the gas. Needs 50 more gas. Starting some more barracks, but there's no third base, and he's got quite a number of SCVs, but it's way too many for two bases. Um, yeah, his main's almost mined out. So much muling. Burrowed Zerglings at uh, the expansions. Yeah, it looks like he tried to build another command center here, but Burrow is preventing it. Just needs a scan to take care of that. Burrowed Banelings right in his vision. I'm not sure how those got there without being shot, but he does sneak it in. Scan goes down somewhere. Oh, yeah, does attack the Zerglings, but the Zergling's gonna win. Zergling, yeah, just barely beats the SCV. Bio pushing out, just barely missed the banlings there. And uh, he's gonna go for another push here. Stems up. There's no medevacs to heal here though, and there's more burrow banlings. Um, only one here, so not quite enough to do kills there. But he's gonna run forward, and these two burrow banlings. He's waiting. He's waiting for the money shot. Just wants those guys to move a little bit further forward. And there he goes. Cleans up a third of the army. One more Banling up there. 
could take out the Widow Mines. Fest and Terrans go down. Oh, Fainling gets destroyed. And yeah, the army runs in here, and there's just there's way too much. Um, what am I get some uh, some good shots on the Zerglings, but the Banelings survive. And yeah, it's 87 army supply to zero right now. So this third is dead. Um, and the main is next. There's uh, I don't know, there's nothing that uh, the Terran can do at this point. We're waiting for the Banelings to bust down the door. Marines again coming out seven at a time. Put plus two attack on the way, almost done. Has enough for plus three, but with no army, it's not useful. He's not going to try to bust in. He's going to leave uh, Sibehi alone there. Just retreat back with his mini Zerglings and Banelings. Um, got his infestation pit, so he could go hive. I suspect we'll see that next. Giant flock of mutilus running around. Where are their upgrades? Oh, they have plus two attack. Very nice. Giant overlord flock to clear out the supply block. Overlord's gonna start dropping creep. Not yet. Queens die. Marines take them out. It burrows the entire army in uh Oh, and the scan is barely doesn't see it. Oh no. Burrows the entire army in this choke point. He's gonna wait for the army to move out, and then he's just gonna unburrow on it. Oh dear. Oh no, he scans it, so that's not gonna work, but he's still got more than enough to take this all out. Mutilus will run in. Army will get destroyed. The Metavax will be taken out. And, uh, again, cranking up the Marine Camp production at home. Zerg not yet pushing the issue, but he's got full map control except for this one base, but that's not taken. Still, I'm not sure what he's waiting for. He is way, way up in supply. I'm going to start 19 more Banelings. Hive about to finish. He could go for an Ultralisk Cabinet, he could go for 3-3, three, three. he could go for whatever he wants. And it will work. Army pushes out here again. We'll, uh, we'll take out the burrow banners, which is nice. But now here comes the here comes the other banners. Uh, they're just not enough up here. Twenty-eight more lings on the way. We'll see what he dumps his gas into next. Will it be brood lords? No, it's going to be an Ultralisk Cavern. That is the follow-up plan. Still hovering outside. He could really just push him at any point, but he doesn't want to run into Widow Mines, I suppose. I right, pushed that down. It's going to get cleaned up again. Will he actually push in this time? I think he will. Families take out the Guardian Marines. Overseer scout ahead to make sure he's not running into Widow Mines. And here comes the third. Flooding on him. Nothing left to mine in the main. Natural almost mined out. Here we go. Into game three. Score is 2-0 in NetSuite's favor. Uh, so this is match point for them. They're, uh, and it's going to be match point going forward in, uh, in every single game here. Uh, we're going to have a ZVT here on Vanny Research Station. Uh, we have Rice Krispies for Google Cardboard, the Red Terran spawning in the northern position, and we have Archie, the Blue Zerg, uh, spawning for NetSuite in the southern position. Uh, Overlord moving straight out is gonna, looks like it's rallied, let's find out where it's rallied. Yeah, it's rallied, yep, it's gonna check the natural and then it's gonna hide back here uh, for a later scout so we can see what his opponent is up to. 
going to start that second Overlord now. No crazy early pool shenanigans. Uh, we see Rice Krispies rallying his STV straight to the wall. Going to start that depot right on time. Um, could potentially proxy, um, but with no STVs having already gone out, it is looking increasingly unlikely that that will be the case. More drones being built, three at a time. Supply Depot is done. He will start that barracks, and we'll see what the gas timing is following this. Is it going to be a gasless expand? Is he going to get a gas on 12? He is. He's going to get that gas on 12. So it's going to be a Reaper opening. Uh, we'll scout with that, and we'll probably expand afterwards. Um, Danny is a very defensively oriented map. Uh, you can defend your main and your natural with just this small uh, little ramp right here. Hatchery going down at the back. Three SUVs immediately on gas. A uh, 14th building should start a 15th. There it goes. Uh, barracks will finish right when he's about able to afford that Reaper. All the men going up. Everything's looking. Uh, spawning pool goes down on 16 for the Zerg. Uh, fairly greedy there. So this uh, this Reaper... Oh no! He goes for a Marine. Okay. Never mind. So there's going to be a quick factory follow-up to this. Uh, could be Hellions? I wonder. The gas timing was everything that you wanted for a uh, for a Marine. So he's going to get that factory. Um... Typically, you get the gas on 13 if you're not getting the Reaper uh, because you can maintain SCV production and it really doesn't delay the factory that much at all. So we will just scout the SCV instead. Zerg will get away with his hatch first. No problem. A reactor going down. So it looks like he may uh, be using this to build those Hellions. Second gas going down. No expansion in sight. Not saving up the minerals for it. It looks like we're going to see a pretty aggressive play here from our Terran. Drones transferred down to the natural. Zerg. Still no gases. Starting double queens. Lings will take this SCV out. He's not coming home. Someone will have to go deliver his tags later on. Uh, reactor done. It will switch with the factory. So it is going to be a uh, double Hellion production. See what he does with the barracks. It's going to start a start part, and with the barracks position right here, we'll see does he start a tech lab on the barracks? Uh, nope, starts a marine. Never mind. Uh, tech lab would indicate that he is going banshee. That's not happening just yet. Wants enough marines to be sure that uh, this doesn't get scouted. Again, we're at uh, nearly the five and a half minute mark, and there is still no. Um, Armory going down, so it's going to be Hellbats. He really wants, he doesn't want this to happen. This is going to be a one base all in from our Terran player. Uh, Zerg drone going out. He's going to build a third hatchery. He's got no units. He's got no roach warren, no bailing nest, no spines, no nothing. He needs to know this is coming in a timely manner. If he does not see that it is coming, uh, he's going to be in trouble. Medivac building, no Banshee. More Hellions building. It's going to be a bunch of Marines and a bunch of Hellbats just knocking on the front door. He may have enough Ling production to deal with it, but that's going to be very difficult. Zerg needs to know this is happening. He pokes up with the Zergling, sees the factory with the Hellions, and does retreat. Hellions will take out the Zergling. So the Hellions are revealed, and the Overlord is in here. There's no expansion. He knows there's no expansion. So yeah, so down goes the Roach Warren uh, here in the back. Needs to start some spines. He needs a link to deal with this. Everything's pushing out. Marines are done. Hellions are done. The medevac should be rallying out with the Marines, and it is. Not quite as many Marines here as there could have been. And oh no, looks like he went to start uh, Banshees here, but the starport is misplaced. He's gonna push in here. Should transform into Hellbats any second. 11 drones building for Archie. He does not respect this. He does not think that this is a problem. He's going to try to defend with three queens, but that's not enough against this army. Starting a, starting a spine, though, that will help a lot. But there's way too much healing here. 
queens are trying to focus on a single marine and they're not getting it. Pushing up here. One queen will go down. There should be more than enough army here, I think, to take this out. Uh, Marines should try to focus the spine. Held that in the back, not doing any damage, so a, a suboptimal engagement here. Uh, four roaches, two zerkins on the way, but is it enough? More is rallying out. Ten more lings, two more queens. Rallies with the drones here, and I think that's a mistake. I think he should kind of run with the drones. He may clear this up, but he's going to take a lot of damage for it. Loses so many zerkins. Does manage to clear up the army though. More health bats, more fans, but a bit late. They're going to get taken out uh, by these surgeons and roaches. And uh, the medevac should run. Starport still misaligned. He's got so much money that it should have been building banshees, and it just didn't happen. He's got enough money to start a second base now, or more production. Is he going to go for a second base? Yeah, he is going to go and get that second base, but. Uh, Ice Krispies is invariably very behind here. And, uh... Yeah, it starts Banshee Cloak, but it's very late. Zerk so could go start a lair at any point. Three bases up for our Zerg. He should be quite content to drone, and he is. Ten more drones on the way. We'll take out this Overlord, and it's actually going for a double expansion. So that may he may actually be able to get back into this. Um, if he, uh... Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. I can't talk and type at the same time about different things. Um, the spine crawler going down in the back. Has he scouted Banshee? Well, he has now. So we should see him throw down spores. Yep, there it goes. Um, although that's not a great place for a spore. Should see more spores in the rest of the base, and they're not there yet. Just spines to defend against drops. Alright, there you go. Starting two more spores uh, here in the main. Uh, nothing at the natural yet, though. And this spore here is not going to defend the, the backside. Cloak is done. Lair is not yet done, so all he's got is spores to deal with this. Cloak gets revealed, and he's going to start working on this queen. He's going to get the queen. Nothing else is nearby to kind of use it. All that energy gone. We'll see what he does next with this Banshee. Should try to get some drones. Not fly into a spore crawler. Takes a lot of unnecessary damage there. It's gonna decloak and take it away. Um, second base is up. 18 more drones. Uh, finishing just now. For Archie. Putting them at 68 over 34. Way over saturated in his natural. Needs to transfer them to the third. Um, saturation pretty healthy in the main. Third orbital done, starting three more barracks. Um, got some marauders, got some marines, got an engineering bay, got an armory. So he, he can try to transition out of this, um, but he's banking quite a bit of money. We'll take down the hydrolysis then, it looks like, but after I've talked to the banshee. Second energy tries to poke in, but the spore is uh, too good. He's gonna decloak and get out of there again. These banshees delay the hydralist den, but that's about it. He does um he is aware though that the hydralist den is on the way, so it is it's gonna be Roach Hydra Viper here for this herb. He should start an infestation pit soon, so we can get those vipers. Um, Roach Hydra does not scale against uh, upgraded bio. Then again, he's going to have way more. Uh, then his opponent for quite a while. Gas has started here, but only one SCV each. Third still not moved out. Really needs to try to take a uh, third base economy. Roaches are pushing out here. I think he's got enough to deal with this. Actually, he hasn't been producing. This factory hasn't been reducing. This starport hasn't been producing. He's going to move to take the third, but he doesn't have quite a, a, bunch, a lot of uh, army. And uh, Stim is only just now on the way. Stim is so late. 
Um, so take that back. He's not gonna be fine at all. Perf check out Summer Lord. Interesting. Uh, he needs to burrow these Widow Mines if he wants any chance of defending. Doesn't want them to get sniped. Uh, one of them does get sniped. Widow Mines will take out the Roaches in turn. Should morph these uh, Hellions into Hellbats. You do not want regular Hellions uh, versus those Roaches. Uh, Command Center is just barely able to squeak in past that circle. Widow Mine Charge uh, coming back online. Overseers are here though, and uh, Roaches and Hydras will be able to take those out. He needs to keep on rallying Bio. He needs to clear up his supply block. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough fight here. He is pretty far down in supply. Um, again, Stim not done. Widow Mine almost goes off. He's gonna try to take the command center here, and if he doesn't lift it up, even if he does, he's gonna lose the command center. It's already on fire. Trying to kite. And yeah, he's gonna get the orbital planet right here. Does not look it off in time. It's a huge blow here to our Terran. Did need that three base economy. Overseer is here. Um, although it might be tricky to take out these widow mines without uh, getting shot by them. So that may be his one uh, shot here. SCV is doing some sneaky, sneaky mining right past this army. Both troops just standing here. Ever seen a more tense moment. Widow Mines do get one shot off. As he continues pushing, he's gonna get more shots off. Stim is finally done. And does he have enough? He does. I think he does have enough to take this out. Um, almost? Oh no! Not quite enough. 1-1. One, one. Is it? Ah, oh, so close. I can't tell. He needs to rally the rest of these units here. He's not fighting with this whole army. Bring the rest of the troops, he will clean this up. Take control of his third again. Holy crap, that's a lot of overlords here. <laughs> he does need to send those home. Um, SCVs are rallied down. He needs to try to start that uh, third again, but he doesn't have the minerals. His, um, his main is getting close to mined out. Pushing here, but there's not enough units. Roaches will continue to press in, and they're about to have plus two missiles. They're really going to turn the line of this. Needs to burrow those widow mines, but not quick enough. Loses two of them. Widow mine shot almost goes off, but it would have been a waste anyway. That roach was just about dead. Our spacer is going to go for a drop here, um, but he needs he needs to all in. Um, he could even try to think about like lifting his main to this third. He's got a bunch of SCVs not mining. He's producing eight marines and a marauder at a time, but he can't sustain. Uh, yeah, so he's gonna lift the main to the third and try to continue that mining there. But he really needs to go do some damage if he wants to stay in this game. Um, infestations but have started. Uh, hydraless upgrades on the way, starting those muscular augments for that hydra speed. Um, starting uh, ground care base level two, that sort of ground armor. Scan's going down, sees the fourth base, knows he has to do something. But this army is so huge, he cannot engage this army. He needs to try to go for drops. That's the weakness of this Zerg composition here. He has no control against drops. He needs to stim and run away, and well, the roaches will chase. He needs to boost the medibacks away. He's gonna burrow some widow mines here and could get some good shots. Definitely does. But he can't engage, he doesn't have enough stuff. The roaches are tanking way too much, the hydras are coming way too much. I'm just going to start shooting the medevacs here as the ground army is cleared up. He has to boost what he can of his army away, but there's just not enough back at home. He does not have enough money to afford all of this production. He needed that third base earlier, and now he doesn't have it. So he's going to lose this again. He needs to lift it off to have any chance of saving it, and he does not. So the, third, the, uh, the main orbital goes down. There's one orbital left in the natural. Picks off a few units with the Marines, but the production is extremely stunted now. There is little to no mining going on for the Zerg. If we look at the income tab, yeah, 900 minerals a minute compared to 1,600 for the Zerg. Uh, harvester count, half. Only one set of mules. And the natural's close to mining out. There's only 500 minerals left in these patches. Zerg up on four bases. Has the potential to be up on eight geysers. Lots of Marines here. 
Uh, 2-2 two, two about to finish, though, against the 2-1 of the Terran player. He's got plus three uh, vehicle weapons going on here, and he's going to go for a drop. He's not going to try to um, to engage the army. Yeah, he's going to load everything up into Metavax, and he's just going to go for it. Gonna go for the base trade. We'll try to hold the ramp, most likely. That's all we can do at this point. Surf may poke in, but the, uh, the the outcome here is it's going to be a base trade. He does skirt around the first Zergling, um, but he will be spotted by this drone. We'll see how the Zerg responds when he sees uh, six boosting metamats flying overhead. They're going straight for his natural. And he sees it, and he's going to pull the army back. I'm not sure I agree with that. Certainly, he can actually just go and try to kill the Terran player here. But now he's just guaranteed that he's going to... Oh, no! Four caller takes out one of the a weak medevac straight away. There's a bunch of units. It's gonna take out another medevac. Uh, just barely before it dies. Tanner player is gonna kill a hatchery here, but this hatchery is mined out. The main is uh, almost mined out as well. And yeah, Zerg is gonna go for the base trade here. Gonna push up this ramp. Too much stuff. Units being rallied back here, but they will be cleared out by the bio. Actually, just barely snipe. I forget, didn't see what it was researching, but whatever it was, it didn't finish. Everything lifts off. Orbital lifts off. SCVs are left to die. Let's see if he has any medevacs to lift those out with. Doesn't look like it, though. Turret with the touch on Overseers. You're on full on base trade mode, and I think the Zerg just wins this one. He's rallying roaches. It's not quite enough to deal with it, although with the reinforcements, it may be just enough. Uh, holding the high ground, breathing from the back, roaches in the front. Yeah, there's just there's too many roaches, and it looks like ah, uh, I can't tell. The overlords are hiding the roach count. <laughs> no, nah, there's too many roaches. The bio will get cleared up here, and yeah, it's GG. No answer. All right, so we're gonna go into a game four. For fun here. Um, that's we did take the series, so this is just for brownie points at this point. Um, it's going to be a ZVT on Deadwing, ladder edition, between Marfin, the Red Zerg, spawning for Google Cardboard, and Omnipresent, the Blue Terran, spawning for um, the spawning for Google Cardboard. I'm uh, blah, I'm blah. Sorry. Marfin, the Red Zerg, spawning for Google Cardboard. Omnipresent, the Blue Terran, spawning for NetSuite. Why is my phone giving me notifications? Never mind. Okay. CV rallied out, gonna start that depot. On the wall, Overlord rallied straight up to the correct spawning location, so um, Marfan is using his clairvoyance correctly this match. Very good. Did not uh, mess up the clairvoyance stage of the game. Second Overlord, rallying. oh no, the second Overlord, where is that one rallied? Where is it rallied? Where? Where is it going? Where is the Overlord going? The rally is rally down here. Why is it? <laughs> I got never mind. He did. Oh, both players messing up the clairvoyant step. So he got it right the first time, but the second time he's screwing it up. Spawning pool first. Sorry, no pressure, man. Uh, spawning pool first. Late gas for the turn. It's not going to be an early reaper. SCV will find the Zerg opponent last. 16 hatch going down for him after that pool. 
late gap, late extractor, starting for him. Um, no orbital command yet, even though Marine is almost done. Should uh start that straight away. Get that economy going. Um, wants to start a factory, but he doesn't have enough gas yet. Poking around. Overlord shows up. Two Marines are out, so this Overlord actually needs to be quite careful. Reactor goes down on the barracks. Let's see what the next gas goes to. SCV is going to run straight up into two Zerglings, so it's not going to see much of anything. Actually, I lied. It's probably going to see most of the things it needs to see. Although this Queen will pop out. What? Why? Starts a bunker in the... What? What's going on? Why did they... <laughs> I'm confused. What's going on? Okay, never mind. He didn't have Reapers or was moving out or anything. Overlord gets chased away. I think he goes down. What? What was the, what was the point of this? I don't understand. Third hatchery going down. Uh, factory on the way. It's going to be Hellene production for the Terran. Start the second gas, so he's going to go up into a starport. Does not plan on expanding um, particularly soon. Or if he does, it's um, it's going to be very tightly timed. Oh, there he goes. He builds the command center in base. That's going to cut into his Hellene production, though. Actually, needs a supply to go uh, relatively soon. Queen's at uh, each hatchery. Spine crawler, Roach Warren going down. Layer on the way. Uh, no units for our Zerg. Yeah, he has two Zerglings and only, only 19 drums. So he's not... I think he's mining... Yeah, he's mining way too much gas. Uh, I don't think he's even started speed. I don't know what he plans to do with all this gas. Bunch of Marines, Hellions on the way. Starport on the way. Stimpak starting here. Probably going to build a single medevac with this starport. Is he going to drop an armory? No, he's going to drop an engineering bay. So he is going long term here. He's not going to go for the Hellbat Marine all in like we saw Rice Krispies do. More spines starting. He gets more drones. The, uh, Zerg, yeah, the Zerg player is only just barely ahead of the turn and economy and it's on three bases. Command center is going to drop down here. See what he does with his engineering bag. Maybe he starts an upgrade. Banshee on the way. Is he going to get Coke? Perhaps. Hellions poke up, but they do get chased away by a spine and a queen. Double evil chambers going down. Um, these do not form a very effective wall, though. They just kind of cushion the third a little bit. Marines pushing out. Four Hellions here. We're going to need to see some units from the Zerg um, to hold this. This is more than enough to take down that spine. We see him building the reconstitution, plus one missile attacks. Spinecrawler goes in. Hellions alone cannot take out the Spinecrawler. But the Marines and the Hellions can. Is he going to push with all of them? No, he's going to run with the Hellions. But he waited too long. The Roaches are out. So these, he's going to—he's just going to go for it. He's going to commit with these Hellions. He's going to try to get a bunch of drone kills here. How good will the drone micro be? Goes for the mineral line. And he's going to run into the Spinecrawler. And he's trying to fill the drones with... Uh, yeah, so he gets like four there. Make it another one. But he runs the Hellions into a pocket. Gets... Five drones for five Hellions. That's not worth it. Um, or at least it normally wouldn't be, but Marvin only has 20 drones. Where's all this mineral? He's got too much... What is he spending all this gas on? Zerg should really have a... Uh, a bigger economy by now. But he does not. Two geysers mining. Only seven drones in the main. He needs to rally some back to the main. Starting to mine at that third. 
Tiny Drones. Third Command Center starting for the turn. Engineering by still not building anything. Just the one Banshee. Proxy base going down for the turn. Fourth Command Center. This is... This is an interesting place to, uh... It's not scouted. It's not. I don't know if he's gonna scout it. Drone count finally getting up. Uh, only 38 still. And, oh, we have a drop. Oh, yes, yeah, the Banshee. Banshee is doing some harassment here in the main. Um, Sport Crawler trying to zone that out. Banshee can actually take on the Queen, I think, if he wants, but not, not after taking that much damage. And she is very. Very near being taken out. If he moves in at all, the queen will take him down. Fourth command center about to finish. Could start another orbital here. Queen decides to back off. If the banshee runs down the spore, we'll finish it off. No worries. Marines, widow mines hanging out here at the front. Roaches here. Plus one carabase about to finish. More geysers going down. Two already done at the natural. Still, though, the drone count for the Zerg is just not very up there. Fourth base going on. Um, Swarm Hosts is the name of the game for our Zerg. Enduring Locust is done, or is on the way. Swarm Hosts are in construction. Scan's going down to see what the Zerg is uh, up to. See his low drone counts at all of these bases. Terran player is going to actually skyrocket ahead in the economy. He's ahead in SEVs. He's ahead in, he said ahead in worker count, and that's not even including mules. Yeah, we look at the income tab. Ah, it's close. Not quite there. Raven with the army to start clearing out some of this creep. Swarm house will be rallying to the front here. Roach is poking out, but there's not enough to take on this army. We will need uh, those locusts. Needs to start burrowing these swarm hosts and rallying them out. Building a bunch of depots at this, uh... I guess this is his... I will call it his fourth. Um, this command center was started earlier. Should really make this a planetary fortress. If he wants that to have any chance of surviving. We'll see what happens when Marfond eventually discovers it. Turn player pulling ahead in supply. He's got way too much gas um, to spend. Uh, these roaches are dead. They would try to take the watchtower, but two widow mines and a bunch of fire will destroy them. Three more roaches getting almost donated there. Does pull them back. Builds 19 roaches. Shoot up in that supply. Only, um. Yeah, only three swarm hosts. Is he gonna commit to them? So few drones in the main. So few drones on the natural. Just enough drones on the... Oh no! He must have rallied these before the extractor was done. Three drones not made. That extractor. Raven poking out. Locusts are out. Taran's gonna... Is he gonna continue to push, th push through? He's gonna go here, but I think there's too many roaches. And yeah, so he's like... Auto turrets drop, but they're just gonna get taken out immediately. This army's gonna get cleaned up. The Raven... Almost goes down to a spore crawler. All the auto turrets spent, but they do nothing. Roaches clean all of that up. So good defense there for Marfan with the superior army supply. But, but it loses Roaches on the push out there. Does have to retreat the rest. What is his follow up plan, though? He's still got so few drones mining minerals. Um, he's not building additional swarm hosts, just building roaches. But you can't roach a, you can't pure roach a Terran. Um, not at this point anyway. That window is passed. So many SCVs for the Terran, but the, the main is mining out and the natural is way, way oversaturated. You see the next step is hive. But he really needs more drones, mining minerals. They have an engagement here. Uh, Widowmines take some shots, but there's no Overseer here, so he can't 
uh, clear them out. It's a close battle. Hunter Seekers go down. Actually, kill a bunch of roaches. I think that's going to give Terran. Yeah. I'm going to give him the edge. She almost. Oh, that's so close. Yeah, Terran's going to win here, I think. No, he pulls back. And yeah. Ah. So Zerg just barely wins that. 13 more roaches, 6 more drones. A good start, but he doesn't have the mineral economy that he needs. He needs a mineral economy. He needs to spend all this gas on swarm hosts or something. You can't continue to build roaches on this low mineral economy. Scan's going down to check on the Zerg. He's no fourth base. Roaches do finally get cleaned up here. Four Widow Mines are going to do a lot of damage, really weakening this army. Fortunately, there's not very much bile here at all, so he will uh, clear those out. Auto turret's going down here in the third. Going to scare away the drones. The drones will run over to this, this fourth instead of this fourth. Roach is actually going in here. Um, well, there's too much bio here. They're going to die. That's an unfortunate decision. I'm going to throw down some Hunter Seekers, but they're basically over for us. Tyrant player, matching army supply, way up in workers. Has way too many workers. Transfer these away. Both of you, your mineral economies are so low. So, so, so very low. Way too many drones at this base. Almost enough drones at this base. Way not enough drones at this base. Way not enough drones at this base. Way not enough SCVs here. Not enough SCVs here. Way too many here. Way too many here. These widow mines have been worth their, uh... Blah. Weight and gold. They're gonna distract some wooden mine shots here. Maybe get a marine? Yes, they do. Do some damage on some other units. More auditors going down. They're gonna focus down the spine. They're gonna win versus the spine. They gotta clean it well. Although one of them does go burning. More locusts pushing in. They're gonna focus down a marauder. Get it! And a marine. Five more swarm hosts on the way. Finally. Roach is pushing in, but they're going to take some Widow Mine shots. Where's your Overseer? Where is your Overseer, Marfin? Lots of bio retreating. This base mate is simply not mine. Swarmhouse rallying in a very odd position. They're going to, where are they going? It needs to be careful with these Swarmhouse. Still left a bunch back here. Ravens swooping around. Looks like they want to do some more auto drive damage. Oh no! Oh no, you're Swarm Host! What are you doing? Marfin! Marfin! Watch a roach is here, but it's not enough to deal with this bio. Still no medivax to actually heal from these stems. It's gonna be a bunch of uh, hunter seekers here. And they're gonna do some damage to the ravens, but mostly just clean up the roaches. Uh, it's close. Are the Roach going to win? I think they're going to win. I think the 2-2 versus... Yeah, the 2-2 the versus the 0-0 is... What? Um... Is something happening? What? Okay. Uh... All right. I guess that's GG. Omnipresent takes this one.